Now, Zoe, there's lots of different ways for cooking fish on a barbecue. This is my favourite. What I've got is a lovely piece of barramundi here. This is farm barramundi. You can see it's a lovely fill. It's been cleaned up. It's got some bones along here, which I'll leave in there. But it's also got the skin, and I do leave the skin on because I find it holds it together. And Definitely. Yeah, barramundi skin's good. I'll just yeah. make sure all the scales are off it. But what we're going to do, Zoe, is make a little flavour. Now, when you're cooking fish, some people are purists and they say the fish should speak for itself. Only a bit of lemon juice and parsley on it, that's it. But sometimes you want a bit of flavour. Absolutely. This all looks very interesting to me. Simple, almost tropical in a way. I mean, barramundi is a tropical sort of fish. So what I've got is a bowl here. And what I'm going to get you to do, Zoe, is if you can grab that microplane there yeah, and that. grate probably about a tablespoon of that ginger into the bowl and maybe, say, say three cloves of garlic. We'll get that in there as well. Uh, I mean, you know what? I should crush this garlic and chop okay. it. I was going to grate it, but I reckon the chopped garlic will sort of sit on top of it and be lovely. It won't take long at all. We'll wrap it in foil so all the juices and all the flavours here that we're adding will, of course, stay in there. There we go. In goes Delicious. the garlic, in goes the ginger. I've got this lime here. I want you to take the zest and put Done. that in there. The zest really brings out the flavour of the lime. And when you put the lime and the zest together, I reckon it works really well. I've got some coriander here. I'm just going to cut that in half and, you know, sort of finely chop this. You don't have to be fussy about it. And what I'm going to do is just throw that straight in there. And I've got some spring onions. I'm just going to take the tops off here and just give that a, a, a sort of rough chop. Okay. And I'll throw this on the top there. Now, in front of you there, Zoe, I've got a few things to add some flavour to the marinade that we've got here. I've got some verjuice. Okay. Which is like adding white wine without the alcohol. It's like adding grape juice with yeah. a little bit more acidity to it. Which this I... is a really good alternative to white wine for those people who don't want to add any form of alcohol into their cooking, even if you do burn it off. And as I like to say, Zoe, it's better to drink the alcohol and put something else in the, in the fish. But, I, I do agree with that. I'm just gagging there. Now, I've got something else here called pomegranate molasses, which is nice ah. and sort of sweet. And we'll throw a good sort of tablespoon and a half in there. If you stir oh, that it's around... Great. And I'm just going to add just a splash of tomato juice here, just to give it a little bit of red colour. And I love tomato and everything. And, of course, some extra virgin olive oil, just a little drizzle of that. There These are go. some really delicious flavours. I mean, I love that pomegranate molasses. I mean, pomegranate's got big antioxidants in it as well. Bit of a fan of the antioxidants today. It's an antioxidant barramundi dish. Is that what we'll call it now? Well, you're going to drink your oxidants or your free radicals for your alcohol, so you need to have as much antioxidants as you can in the food you're eating. Well, I suppose I could actually <laughs> save the tomato juice for the... Has that got antioxidants it in does. it? It does. It's got uh, something called lycopene in it. It's another one go. that's good for you. There we go. This is a very good dish. I was going to save the uh, tomato juice for my Bloody Mary later on. I've got some ground <laughs> cumin in there just for a little bit extra flavour and so if you mix that around I'm just going to grab my foil and baking paper. Now as you can see Zoe I always double the foil I put two sheets there just to make sure that it doesn't break and all the juices and the steam goes in there. So what I'm going to do is put some of these spring onion battens here on the bottom. Oh, that's a nice way to do it. I love it because they'll absorb the flavour and they'll almost caramelise as well. Ex exactly, and that gives it a lovely flavour. And I'm just going to yeah. lay the barramundi over the top there like that. You could have it skin side up or skin side down, it doesn't really matter. But if you can pass me some salt there, Zoe, I'm just going to put I do a. That? Yeah, sprinkle a, a little Zoe bit of salt. Version of salt? I'll let you get away. That's a nice I was amount of say, salt. I was yeah, yeah. Very generous today. I've, tra <laughs> I've trained you well with that one, haven't I? <laughs> there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is just put these spring onions on top there. And I'm going to hold that up like this. And Zoe, what I want you to do is pour that on top of the fish. Oh, this has got some beautiful flavour, Adrian. And I am pleasantly surprised how healthy this is. So I'm rubbing off on you now. Well, I'm sorry um, to disappoint you, Zoe. Okay. For me, I mean, this is perfect the way it is, but I like to add a little bit of butter. <laughs> butter sort of rounds out the flavour and makes a lovely sauce. It is an optional thing. If I'm coming around, you've got to put it in straight away. But for me, a couple of nods of butter on there, it just goes so well with fish. Maybe not healthy, but then again, I'm not the dietitian here, am I? That's true. There we this go. is true. Now, what I'm going to do is just lift it up on the sides and fold over the foil to make a nice big pocket like that. It sort of looks like a fish already. The baking paper's in there, which will allow the fish not to stick, and it'll slide off beautifully onto the plate. Yeah. And the most important thing, Zoe, is all the juices will stay in here. Now, all I need to do is lift the lid off like that, and I'm just going to grab this. It's also got a handle, isn't it? Pop it into the middle here. I reckon that's going to take about 20 minutes, Zoe. But here's a tip. If you wanted to get this ready earlier on, you could actually put it into the fridge, wrap it up in the foil, keep it in the fridge, let it sit there for a few hours at least, and the flavours would only get better. Oh. This won't take long. You know what? I really like that tip, and I know it's going to be delicious. Zoe, that didn't take long at all. Look at that. You can smell it, can't you? Oh. I'll just put a 
cloth on top of it there and just transfer it over here. This is the bit, this is the bit we love. There we go. Be careful when you open it, Zoe, because there is a lot of steam and you don't want to burn yourself. But the flavour, how's that flavour? That smells really good. I can smell all the different herbs in there. My mouth is watering, I've got to say. And for me, there's nothing I would change apart from the butter. There we go. Lucky I didn't take it out. Look at that. Isn't that great? And you can, I'll leave the paper on there. You know, it looks great just the way it is, but all the butter's floating to the top there, so if you <laughs> sort of dig around in the bottom, Zoe, there'll be no butter at all, I promise. Oh, wow, that's perfectly cooked. It's just literally flaking. The fish just falls off the bone. Mm. 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 That's delicious. I mean, it almost has a really sort of Thai feel to it. I, I really like that, Adrian. Delicious. It's, this is actually an Iranian or Persian dish. Oh, nice. And that's where the pomegranate molasses comes from. Oh. Sort of that sweet and sour sort of flavour to it. But I think the barramundi picks up those flavours really well. Great when you serve it with rice or maybe a little bit of Turkish bread to soak it up. That would be delicious, Turkish bread. You know what? That would be delicious. This is delicious. I think you'll like mine. It's got a little twist to it, but it's very tasty.